Hello you gorgeous donuts. Today we're going to be having a little look at the new lineup for Love Island 2024. Oh! My favourite show's back! Does that make me sad possibly? So Love Island on the TikTok page, before they released the actual videos to get to know the island as, they just previewed them with getting them to come to the camera one by one. <laughs> How is this not awkward? How can you, in all seriousness, go up to a camera and go <laughs> I rated every season how they just have no radar for cringe. They don't care. I love it. Mimi, classic blowing the kiss. Strong, right? Strong. You can't go wrong with blowing the camera a kiss. Oh, that's a nick. Sorry, what? This? What's this? What, are you doing the Ronaldinho? You just scored like an absolute screamer, mate. What is this? What's that? Oh, God, put that away. Okay, classic, Nicole. I like it. Munvi, I kind of understood the assignment. Bro threw a 360 no scope in there. Bro's like, fucking get in. I'm tangled now. Two sex guys. I'm back. I like that. Little bit of personality. Patsy. Bit stiff. Right. Jesus Christ. Look at Sean. Just first glance of Sean. Sean looks like he would be able to get you like a steal for like a new house. He looks like a great estate agent. Like that Lego hair. Fantastic. This man must be a king of commission. Ah, you kind of copy your Mimi there, Samantha. Get your own thing. Ronnie's being very generous to himself, uh, trying to fix up his hair there. Right, there's not much of it, but it's not about how much hair you've got, guys. It's about what you do with it. As my dad always said, he didn't say that. That'd be weird. Nice, Jess. Oh, that was cold from Eo. Okay, so we've got a first glance at all of them. But what we really want to know is what is the personality of these people like? Now, Love Island released, like, the, the joint video as of recording this on the Love Island. Uh, it's four minutes long, so I guess we're going to get to see what a couple of the islanders are actually like. I'm so excited. This is, like, my most exciting part of the year. I am sad. I'm a sucker for reality TV, guys. I'm a sad woman, I am. I've been single for four years. I think it's now time to find the one. Sorry, why do they always say this? I've been single for four years, and the one thing that's gonna fix this is Love Island. No, it's not. Nothing ever go happens off this show that is good. I wanna know the ratio of couples that are together that are not together after coming on this show. It must be staggering. I always get what I want. I put my friendships to one side, and I'm coming out on top. <laughs> <laughs> Why does bro sound like he's like playing in the World Cup final? I put my friendships aside and I'll always get what I want. Like bro, you're going on Love Island. You're going to pull people for a chat. Like calm down. Simmer down, you Sigma male. My name's Ayo. I'm Harriet. I'm Sam. I'm Mimi. I'm Kieran. My name's Nicole. I'm Mambe. I'm Samantha. I'm Ronnie. I'm Patsy. I'm Sean. My name's Jess. Okay, first glance, just off them all saying their names. I feel like it's going to be a good season. I know you can't predict that, but just off looking at them, they all look like they fancy themselves. It looks like Love Island this year has kind of went back to the early seasons when they kind of get people on who all look like influencers. If you get like what 10 or 11 people who are all self-centered who always get what they want and put them together, only the fit is still rice. That's what we want. We want to see hardship. We want to see heartbreaks. We want people hating themselves. Do we? I don't know. Maybe it's a small part of me does. My type is brunette, nice bum. I think bum is what makes the boys go crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. It's never, you know, I just hope she's really got a good head on her shoulders. You know, I hope she's got a great personality. You know, real wifey material. It's like, nah, I hope she's got a nice bum. That's what gets me hard. I don't care about what her face looks like. It's all about the behind. Fuck the front, I want the rear. It's not about where she speaks from. It's about where she shits from. Sorry, guys. That was one too far. Got a bit excited there. By the way, guys, just quickly before we proceed, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can join this corner of the internet, the donuts. This community will rise in every single day. And and if you subscribe, you'll have loads of videos like this to binge watch when you're bored. All I think about is getting my butt massive. <laughs> my type is tall, dark, handsome. They couldn't have picked the most stereotypical person for Love Island. Yeah, all I want is just a big bum uh, so that I eventually attract the tall, dark and handsome guy <laughs> that we all want. 
you know, the tall, dark, and handsome. What does that even mean? What does tall, dark, and handsome mean? How dark are we talking? Are we talking like dark skin? Are we talking dark hair? Are we talking dark beard? I have no clue what that statement means. It's so vague. My type is tall, dark, handsome, rugby player. <laughs> okay, so she likes somebody that drinks his own piss, right? Or drinks his friend's piss, actually. So if anyone out there, right, does in fact like to drink their friend's piss, drop her a DM. Jess is looking for you. I'm six foot five, so I'm pretty tall. When I like somebody, I am very romantic. You know, I like to go above and beyond. I mean, if you're six foot five, I guess you're always above and beyond. You're always up there in the clouds, just kind of necking on with God, getting the news before it reaches the rest of us. Right, world's about to end soon. How do you know? Talk to the big man. I'm always above and beyond, guys. So my type is brunette, tanned, and just has to be able to take a joke. Okay, right. We've got a little bit of personality there, right? We've got somebody that wants somebody that can take a joke. That's progression, guys. That's what I've wanted in Love Island. Finally, we're looking for personality. Also, what do blonde people do? Or like light-haired people? Like everybody in this show either wants tall, dark, and handsome, or tanned brunette. What do the blonde people? Are they just non-existent? Mainly like blonde lads, because I know that like a lot of lads fancy blonde girls. But like you never hear somebody going, yeah, I kind of want a blonde boy. Somebody needs to like stick up for the blonde guys out there. Nobody wants them. On a night's house, I am a bit of an attention seeker. Very confident and very flirty. I like to shit in the middle of the dance floor so everybody's looking at me. Right, I just love the attention. No matter how I get it, I need it. My type used to be blonde. A nice pair of uh, Bristol Rovers, we'll call them. Yeah, I love a boob. I do. I'm a boob man. Just a singular boob, do you love? Right, that's very inclusive. I like that. He doesn't care if you've got two or one. Right, he'll take you as long as you're blonde. I love that though, right? We've got diversity finally on this show. This is what everybody's been crying out for with Love Island. Not only have we got bum men, we've got boob men as well. Come on! Finally! Everybody's being represented. This is what this show was created for. To represent everybody in British society. My best feature is my boobs and I should hope so because I paid a very, very big amount of money for them. I always wonder with people that, you know, pay for for the boobs. Like, you know, if you're paying it installments, do you use Klarna? Are your boobs on finance? That's just pretty funny. That's like a pretty funny insult. You know when people say that about like people that drive Mercedes? Oh yeah, but your Mercedes is on finance. Like, do people ever say to you, oh yeah, well your tits are on finance? That's just a food for thought there, guys. <laughs> It's fair to say that I get a lot of attention when I go out. In terms of like finding the one, someone that's going to match my energy, be adventurous, be a little bit naughty. This guy definitely looks like you would grab you around the waist to like get past you in a nightclub and like kind of squeeze your bum. Like, sorry, darling. Right? Oh, right. That's very nice. Right? I'm a bum guy, if you're asking. Right? You want to talk to us? No? Didn't want to talk to you anyway. You're ugly. Awful. Wouldn't even look twice at your love. Type wise, I am a lover of a pretty boy. I love looking at someone and thinking, yeah, 100% you're a bit of me. Mm, that's me fucking. Then. I'm not a pretty boy, guys. Honestly, I'm not. Pretty boys, like, you know, like I beat the final boss, isn't it? Like putting a bottle of Ciroc on your Snapchat story. It's just not me. I'm just not about that life, right? I respect it. Actually, I don't. It's very like Tom Zanetti. My friends would describe me as a very sparkly person. I'm always the center of attention. I'm always up for fun. I feel like she's going to be like Liberty, who's been on a previous Love Island. Like, she's, I can straight away seem like just from her vibe, she's very like outgoing and kind of bubbly. That's what the previous guy wanted. I'm going to go on the app and vote. Can I vote? Mm -hmm. Big voter, guys. Big voter. Right, every single time straight away, I'm like, I need everybody. Shut up. Gotta cast me Love Island vote. Honestly, I treat it like party power. My next boyfriend would need to give me all the maintenance that I need. I have to have a bouncy blow dry every single week. It costs me a fortune, but I feel like I look good. Uh, a bouncy blow dry? Right, not too sure what that is, guys. But if uh, anybody is in the market to give her a bouncy blow dry, get your DMs in before she gets in. So I actually got into hairdressing straight after school. I kind of want to just talk to women. This guy looks cool. This is what I think I look like. <laughs> if I look at myself in the mirror one day, I go, oh, I don't look that bad today. This is what I think it looks like. In reality, it looks nothing like it. Right, I keep shaving a slit in my eyebrow, guys. Keeps going. I'm just so, I'm just so full of testosterone. I shave it, it comes back the next day. God, I'm like Wolverine. I'm looking for at the moment is like a nice brunette with a good personality, bubbly. I don't think anybody's mentioned that they're after a blonde yet, right? I did say this. The blondes aren't gonna fare well in this season. To be fair, normally isn't it the blondes that actually do quite well. Like, I'm trying to think, like, Molly May, Chloe Burrows, like, they're, like, some of the most famous ones. Everyone says this, but my type would definitely be tall guys. I need the height. I'm 5'8". All the shorter girls need to take the shorter real estate, and I need the guys at the top. Does anybody, like, want, like, a short king? What about the short kings? Like, every 
single girls went, yeah, tall, uh, handsome. What about the short, ugly kings? They need someone as well. Okay, guys, someone's got to take one for the team with the short, ugly kings. You can't all have the tall and handsome ones. What about Mark, the five foot two guy? Not the best looking. He's very loving. We all need a Mark in our life just because he's, he's lacking in the height department. That doesn't mean anything. If someone liked my fella in that villa, let's be honest, he would always come back to me. Why would you go to tuna when you can have caviar? To be fair, I'd, I think I prefer tuna over caviar. Like, if, if I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life, I'd probably choose tuna. Right, I'm a sucker for tuna though, guys. It does make your breath stink and it is quite selfish to open it up on a train, but I don't care. It's fucking delicious. I'm a fiery Sagittarius and I'm here to it up. <laughs> it is every girl for themselves in the villa. You feel like you're going to get away with disrespecting me. It's not going to happen. I love the way that they're talking about it. Like, they're so passionate. Like, she was just talking as if she's Katniss Everdeen, ready to go back in the Hunger Games. It's every girl for herself. I'll be the last one remaining. Me and Finnick, we're going to make it out of this. I'm not afraid to step on toes. I'm going in there to find the girl I want. That's another phrase from Love Island I don't understand. What does stepping on toes mean? Like, guys, I, I need things, like, explained to me literally. Because when you say this, for the, like, I, when I heard this for the first time, I genuinely thought that he was going to step on someone's toes. Like, step close to them. I need things explained. What does that even mean? Can someone tell me in the comments, like, you know, in relationship where people say, I want to be kept on me toes? Like, why does everyone want to be on their toes? What is it about toes? I'm definitely a girl's girl, but I can definitely take a girl's guy. I don't think that makes you a girl's girl. Like, if someone's going out with someone and you take, like, their guy, that's that's the opposite of a girl's girl. That's an anti-girl's girl. It's fair game for everyone, I say. Unless you've got loyalty to somebody, crack on. At the end, day, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. <laughs> I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Okay, bro. All right, evil can evil. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm kind of happy with the, the, the line up there. It looks like a bunch of pricks, and that's what you want. There's nothing more than what we want is to watch a bunch of pricks try and get together for eight weeks. That's exactly what the show's made for. Sometimes I think they try and get nice people on that you want to like. No, you want to hate everyone, and maybe hate someone a bit less and hope that they win. Okay, they've also done a... Uh, the island does play fire or dire? I'm not too sure what this is. Let's take a look. Let's play. Fire or die. That's fire. That's dire. You keep the relationship private on social media. Oh, okay. Right, let's play along at home. Okay, let's answer these questions in the comments, right? And then we can kind of spark a debate. I love this. Should you keep your relationship private on social media? Personally, I think not. Nah, you want to show them off. You love them. Right, there's nothing wrong with showing your last off or your boyfriend or whoever it is. Yeah, I like that. Well, private life can be a happy life, to be fair. I think it's mysterious when people post those pictures and all you can see is the back of their head. You think, who is that? Like, no, because who do you think you are? Frank Ocean. Why are you being mysterious for? Like, we don't care that much. Like, I'm not gonna go and, like, try and stalk who you're going out with. Just show us them. So then I can like it and scroll on with my day. They kiss their mum on the lips. <laughs> Ew, why are you kissing another woman on the lips? I mean, like, it is the mum, but on the lips, oh, that's a little bit, oh, yeah, I, I can't lie. Like, I feel like a couple of them are dire ones. Like, imagine going round for the first time and, and like, they're just necking on with the mum. Oh, God, not for me, guys. Not for me. I'd be like, well, what's going on there? Do you fancy her? Huh? Right, have you two got unfinished business? I mean, you have been inside of her in more ways than one. Oh. Get a grip. Dyer, no. They compliment you every day. Oh, that's absolutely. good, isn't it? You <laughs> want to be complimented Your every single day. Better. Sometimes it's just too much. Oh, you know, he gets so many. He's like, oh, yes, I know I'm beautiful and I'm funny and I'm gorgeous and I'm tall and I've got great hair. God, tell me something I don't know. Every day this is. Every day. Can't bloody move a muscle without someone giving us a compliment. They love karaoke. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. I love that. I Dyer, am a karaoke king, karaoke. guys. I can't lie. Because shows are a good laugh. Oh, I love a good sing song. I can't lie to you. I quite like that they're doing this. Like, you get to know them a little bit more. Like, sometimes when the season starts, obviously you don't know anything about them. But I think it is good to kind of make it more warm. Like, it's rather than cold calling someone, it's like a little bit of a warm call going into it, so you kind of get to know them if you've watched this. I kind of rate this. They have a mullet. Oh no, I don't like a mullet at all. I think mullets are not something that should ever be brought back into fashion. Nah, uh, no, I agree with that. Mullets are genuinely awful. I would never, ever, ever, like with the shaved sides and a long back, never. Ever. Would you ever? Would you catch me with one of those guys? Ever. They're the worst. They're a walking red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I love a mullet because it's something different. It's a bit edgy. If there's one word that you would use to describe me, it is edgy. So, yeah. Still don't have a mullet though. Okay, I think that is enough for this video. Let me know who you like and who you think is going to go far. I'm interested to hear now that we've...